Have you seen the guy who stole two cop cars in one chase? Thanks to tier one simmy. Holy shit. This is brand new. No, I haven't seen this. How does he steal two cop cars? Who's driving the cars? Fucking Paul Blart? Guys, give me your speed. And yeah, we've got the AC-130 in the air. How can they not get him? Woo! Pit maneuver! Damn, this is already intense. 10-3, 10-3, someone just pit him into the woods. So who's this guy? Is this just a civilian? Like a vigilante? Did Bruce Wayne get out? Oh no, it's just uh, it's not a police cruiser. It's one of like the police trucks, SUV things. Yeah, pretty rough spot to pit him. You've given him ample places to hide. We'll activate his cloaking technology. They're just a little long, but he's trying to drive the car out of the woods. Oh, he's still in the car. I don't see how he squeaks his way out of this one and gets another car. This seems like game over. Oh, I see. I bet he gets out of his car and takes that truck. Somehow. Or he's already up in one of the trees. Ooh, that sounds cool, Camino. Is he still in there or is it a decoy now? How the fuck can he possibly get another cop car? Unless he's immune to bullets, I guess. But this is like some Bonnie and Clyde shit if he tries to make a run for it. Hey y'all, do not walk up on this car, we got enough people up here. What the fuck? Well, that was easy. Don't move, because we don't feel like doing anything. Ah, shit. There he goes. Oh, boy. That's the one thing we told him not to do. We gave him one fucking order, and he disobeyed it. That is so embarrassing. They have 90 cops out there, and this dude just like... Waddles his way over to another cop car and steals it. Are you kidding me? Like, how do you not even just accidentally tase him? Or, like, tackle him? Okay, we got units coming up just south of Dunlaw, and it's the only vehicle coming at you. Center lane, blue lights on. I still can't only believe vehicle, this about shit. Three seconds out. This is really loud. It's like he fucking no clipped his way into that police car. Ooh, they got him with the tires. Or got his tires. Spike trap. He's fucked. Until he steals a police boat. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he somehow steals this police helicopter right now. I haven't paid too much attention to the actual road here. Has there not been an exit ramp? Because he's not going to lose them on a straightaway. You need to like go somewhere in here, maybe, maybe on a golf course. Okay, vehicle is smoking. Vehicle is smoking north of 95 or north of Dunlawn by about a half mile. Oh, they have them going blocked. into the inside lane. About uh, a quarter mile moment. south of Williamson overpass. I'm surprised he doesn't come over to this side. Like he had an opportunity back there, even up here, to just go to the other lane and try and leave through one of the exits over here. Because yeah, these are clearly blocked. There's no other cars here. Still but here, you can totally switch. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, no, he's not. It's underneath the over, uh, the wires. Underneath the wires. In the median. Oh, Jesus. They've got the men in black here. Next, he burrows underground. 10-3, 10-3. Steals the underminer's drill. Uh, 
Hey, not a bad run, though. You can't be disappointed with that. It was a great performance. He's wearing a police uniform and gets away. Can you imagine? Like, they pull him over and he's, like, completely disguised himself like an officer. And they believe him, like, hitman style. He went that way! He's CIA? It just gets deeper! His mission, steal two police cars to prove that the officers weren't doing a good job. I want to know what happened. Like, why did all of this go down? There's so much lore going on right now. It's a huge exposition drop. The cops should be saying thank you to him, though, for giving them something fun to do. I bet they loved it. So it started with him just stealing a police car for fun. Yeah, what is this, like the nuclear launch codes or something? Jesus. Well, that was pretty wild. Does he ever explain why he did it? Because the lore update there just kind of said that he stole a police car and that's it. Policy after two of their squad cars were stolen by the same guy. <laughs> this is I think they should review it at least a little bit. Austin. And I'm Lisa like maybe lock the doors. Leading to a nearly 60 mile cross county pursuit yesterday along I-95. Tonight the suspect is in jail and police are trying to figure out how this happened. Or, is Troy Campbell. I don't care how, just tell me why he did it. Coco police say they're after this dramatic 60 mile pursuit captured on It was a cool pursuit. Cummings is accused of stealing a Coco police car. It was pretty cool. Right, we saw all that. Yes, it doesn't tell me. Me. To be honest, like, I thought the police work was fine. Like, they had him completely boxed in. Like, I mean, it should have ended right there. And then for some reason, according to the lore, apparently he, like, sprayed pepper spray, which blinded all of them briefly, and then ran to the other car. Up until that point, though, I thought they were doing fine. I mean, all they had to do was just lock the car door once they got out. I mean, I feel like that's an easy solution. Maybe the new policy should just be when you're not in the car, lock it like everybody else. But good for that guy. That's a cool story, Xavier. Fucking wild.